A new year brings new sunshine to the old stream farm expansion. And today is going to be a good one because we are back harvesting again, but not just any normal harvesting. We are going to be investing in a swather and we are going to be coming through and swathing our crops and then picking them up gonna be a lot of fun and i believe this is the one that we are going to go with yes on the decals twenty five thousand and five dollars now this is swath ready maps however i do have a mod installed that allows most things to be swath ready so i think this is what i go with but I, I actually am not quite sure. And here we are. I've gone for the Magdon version of the pickup header. And for the Swather, well, we just stuck with the Massey Ferguson. Real excited to try this out just to see if it works. Now, again, I mentioned it's been a while since I've done Swathing. So I'm not quite sure if this is the Swather or not that I need to be using. I know it's a Swath Ready Maps. I know this is not a map that is Swath Ready but I have mods that I think make it swath ready. It's quite difficult to come through and try to get everything together in one swath, so we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna run this. Now, with swath ready maps, I'm pretty sure that this is going to work. Hey, and it is. Now, I think this is something that we can hire a worker with. Yeah, I see, hire AI worker. Uh, I don't know, we'll try it real quick. So yes. Yes, we can. We can hire a worker with this. That is very, very cool, man. Uh, I don't think we're going to be hiring a worker today, but at least yet. Uh, we may end up doing that here in a little bit. But I want to just make sure that we're going through, getting our lines right, and everything like that. Also, I'm so excited to be using that pickup header. Because these are features coming with Farming Simulator 25, I want to familiarize myself as much as I can with this kind of feature once more uh, because I don't want to mess it up when the time comes. Boom, there we go. All right. I don't know why I backed up, but don't need to do that here. Open it up and we'll get back to it. I think, uh, what? Two headlands around the entire field and then hire a worker on it. It should do the trick. Just for fun, I'm going to hire a worker real quick and see how they do. They come all the way to here and then stop. Uh, yes, they do. Okay, very cool. One of the other things that I like about this, and if I remember correctly with the quote-unquote swath-ready map, so I have the swath-ready mod from Yoast Modding. And I think, again, just talking through it in my head, that allows any map to be swath-ready, which uh, makes things kind of nice. Works out. Uh, you could use the other header. However, I don't think... I don't know if you could hire that other header on a swath or not. I know it will swap, but it also mows, which makes things nice and easy. Uh, so if you ever wanted to mow, well, the other ones to go with. Uh, we'll see this, though. Uh, that is very green coming through there. Nonetheless, this is super duper cool. I did speed it up just a little bit. We're going 12 miles an hour now instead of the uh, aforementioned, I think it was nine. Is that correct? Yeah, it drops it down to nine. Uh-oh. I fired the worker. Don't do that. Hire worker again. Yeah. And the first pass is done. Very, very cool, man. Very, very cool. So let's do that one more time. That way our worker has some easy room turning around on the ends. And then we get to jump in the combine. And with this pass, we are now almost done with our double headland. So I think at this point, maybe we take it to one of the long sides. Hiring a worker here gets a little bit weird because you do all that. And then, then you have to hit one of the side parts again. I mean, I guess it's like that anyway, if you think about it. But I'm going to take this to the top. This is a fun part. Because I don't know if the one that I chose is the right one or not. Uh, let's get this header off of here. I could probably just put this right here. Nobody's going to say anything. They're not going to say nothing about that, are you? Yeah, I didn't think so. So... I don't know if this header is going to be appropriate or not for this combine. Yes, there are some base models that are kind of like this, but I don't know. I mean, I know it's going to hook up. That I know, but is it going to sit low enough? And it just doesn't sit low enough. I'm not comfortable with that. It bare like when you put the put that on the ground, 
It barely rides. I mean, is it is it gonna work? I don't even know if this is gonna work or not. Let's uh, let's bring it around here. It will at least try it. If not, we can readjust a little bit. So here we go. Turn it on. Do we have straw swath enabled? Yes, we do. So we can get some straw off of this as well because I have extendable or extended uh, straw crops mod turned on. I mean, it's working. It seems to be doing okay. This is good. Uh, this is definitely one of those mods where you had to be careful about how fast you go. They made it to work the way that it's supposed to work. They didn't make it for like turns like that, for example. Yeah, it, it, it does miss stuff in turns. So that's gonna be fun to bail up. Uh, also in doing fast farming, or fast harvesting rather, sometimes it bounces and just doesn't work. So you have to be careful about how fast you actually do this. And you gotta cut into these corners a little bit quick so you don't get too far out. I guess I could go into the files and modify this to actually like pick up the entire width or pick up the way that I want it to. I think that's probably the better answer is I could modify this to do what I want it to do. But you know what? It's fine and it works and I dig it. Now that we're ready to rock, let's hire our worker right here and then bounce around, see if I can find that combine harvester. Hey, <laughs> what up, dude? And it is time to try and catch up a little bit. I have looked down and noticed that we don't have as much green in here as I thought we were going to. I could have swore that this was gonna be worth it. Uh, however, it seems, seems maybe not so much. I don't know. <laughs> I will say this much, uh, it is, pretty easy uh oh we bouncing we're bouncing a little bit i can't be bouncing like that man <laughs> hey, 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 hey that's not good uh we don't need that to be happening although first person is the best way to do this i'm gonna slow it down one more mile per hour and see if we can keep that bouncing down to a minimum whoop, 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 whoop. hey oh saw that which bouncing now man that swather just like takes off Dude, he goes, turns around, and gets back to work. Uh, he's definitely going to finish this field before I catch up to him. Sometimes we can catch up to whatever's working in the field. Uh, that is not going to be the case this time. Not by a long shot. So one pass is done, and we're at 11,800 liters, which is pretty good, but definitely not where I want to be. I was kind of hoping that this would be a lot more, but it is canola at the end of the day, so... There's only so much you can do. Uh, I do know that uh, doing the swathing increases the amount of crop that you get. Uh, we could multiply that by another 10% if we tried to use the bushel plus, but I've used that before and, you well, know, I mean, it is a little bit cheaty. Let's be fair. <laughs> I will also say this, uh, doing things this way actually gets it done a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, I can't hire a worker to do the combine harvester, but Man, the rest of it gets done for me, and I ain't gotta mess with it. Uh, our header's only six meters wide. I believe that swathing header. How big's the swathing header? I always forget this part. Headers, nope, not in there. It's gotta be in mowers. Yeah, there it is. Man, 9.2. So we are swathing more than we would have been. I don't know. If I feel like I'm not getting this done faster. Well, the swather is nearly complete with the field. They have knocked out a bunch of this field and uh well currently me as a combine harvester driver has finished the two passes around granted we got 22,000 liters in here yeah that's pretty good dude i am now very happy with the turnout here forgot that i had to come all the way back around through here now <laughs> to do this so here we go it is time to sit back relax and just dig deep there is not a lot to do other than go and just drive back and forth and i understand that is sometimes the job of a farmer in the field but we gotta have to do it well it looks like it is time to jump on the other side now once we finish this line we'll go ahead and grab our swather and we'll bring him over and hit him on the other side that way we can go and get this finished up it's not taking as long as i thought it was going to yeah it's taking a little bit of time but to be fair, it's not too bad. Yeah, this uh, this whole portion of everything took way less time than I was expecting. 
Hey, this Swatha just knocked it out. Basically, it goes to the end, turns around real fast, and then just goes back to it again. It's, uh, it's extremely efficient. Extremely efficient. All right. Back to it again. Drop it back down. Rock and roll. So here's something kind of exciting. Since we have been doing this series, and I'm way ahead on recording if you're watching when these come out, by the way, uh, a Fent Baylor pack just released. And I'm interested in swapping out one of the Baylors that we've got for that. Uh, however, I will also say this. I totally forgot that uh, our good friends, I hope we missed a little bit, uh, that our good friends over at Black Sheep Mining, I think also have a Fent Square Baylor as part of their Baylor pack too. So we're going to be taking a look at some of these Square Bales and possibly might be switching up a square bell specifically this guy right here however um the bells are not going to be the size that we need and not only that it's also not going to have the correct pickup so i will have to go in play with the files a little bit to make sure that this is exactly what i want but i think this is what we're going to upgrade to next also uh it's got this <laughs> uh so you know i'm not saying we'll use that but it is pretty darn cool. That's all I'm saying. How I missed that little spot, I'll never know. But we never have to worry about it again. Yeet. There it is. And we will knock this out real fast and be done with harvest. It, well, at least this field. We do have one more field, thank goodness. Uh, we should probably also look into some investments of other fields as well. I know we got a lot of grass fields right now, and that's perfectly fine. However, Oh, I forgot. If we go to square bells, we're going to have to upgrade our baler as well. The bell wrapper. Yeah, I got a couple ideas for that, so we'll be okay. <laughs> Yay! Got a little bit of bouncing going on there right at the end. I uh, may also go through and see if I can find a different setup for the header. So the header on this one, I, we talked about this earlier. It's a little bit low, or a little bit high. See that? Get a little bit too much bounce off of it. And I don't like that. So I may try and find a way to fix that a little bit. Man, I'm just missing stuff right and left. You know, if it's in the way, just move it, right? <laughs> okay, so the field is done. Now we've got to figure out this. Can I fit through here with this header? Uh, because the transport trailer does not exist anymore with this trailer or with this uh, setup. So we have to be careful about how we do this. But I think we'll be okay. And this is also going to be kind of easy because we're going to be going through like this. And then the header, we can actually go just pull straight through like we normally would and stop right at the end right there. That's going to be real easy. Using a swather on this field, super simple. Using a regular combine for some reason is just so difficult. It's tight, everything like that. And you're also trying not to crush the crops that you've got but you still have to back up and everything this is pretty simple so we may leave this field as is just for the simple reason that it's you know it's gonna be a lot a lot easier with this setup now fitting the combine through here is a little bit easier just a little bit drop it down turn it on yee 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 hey oh and there's a little swath of what's up buddy how you doing man yeah Got both these guys working on here. I didn't think I could fit two machines on this field working, but yeah, it seems to be doing a okay. So we'll knock this out. We'll find out what our final take for canola is going to be. Uh, it's going to be a good amount because canola sells pretty good. And there's the swather done with the exception of one little itty bitty sprig, which we're going to hit and go boop right there. All right. I don't think that I could go back that way. This header doesn't fit, so we're gonna have to go around. To be fair, you can put this on a header trailer. Um, I'm just not doing that. And the final take, 68,698 liters. And we are 68% full. All of the above, man, all of the above. All right, so, folding's not allowed. All right, well, I guess I can't fold this header up. Uh, let's get this. Bring it in here. See if I can find our tipper truck, which I think should hold all of this. Where's my truck? Found it. 
I, I do not have it as a tipper set up right now. Here we go. That's much, much better. Depending on prices, we might be able to sell this now and go and get some extra cash from it. So let's pop around and see what we've got. So canola. Oh my goodness. Look at that price from the train. Yeah. Yeah, we're selling at the train. It is very cool seeing all of these fields the way they are. Look at all these fields. I mean, I know they're all grass and everything, but I think it looks cool, man. Oh yeah, I forgot I changed the glass color in here so I can drive through in first person, finally. And it actually looked good. It's just, it was just a little bit too dark. Uh, and yes, very aware that this truck does not fit on this map. But I like it. Yeah, I like this truck. It drives really good and we worked really hard worked really hard to try and get this in the game. Why say we? Uh, uh, Slush's bonding tried really hard and the community was pumped to see it. So before we go dump, let's go ahead and rent the train. That way we can get it here. We'll turn on our uh, window there. Rent the train. Train is going to arrive soon. Two kilometers away. Really? Where is the train? There it is. Found it. <laughs> so it's going to have to slow down, stop. And then it's going to start backing up. Yeah, there we go. All right. So it'll be here in a hot minute. We probably should have just rented it from the other side of the map. Eh, what are you going to do? We'll dump this in. And then it's going to be time to hit the train, baby. Well, it's taken long enough. But it's finally here. The train. Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. We missed you. Super glad you're here. How you doing? As soon as that person goes away, yay, we can jump in, all right. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta turn it on first. Turn the train on, open up the cover, and get out my canola. And now we spend our very, very long, awkward drive through the countryside. I think I'm gonna go in first person to enjoy this one. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly fascinated with the way that the train wheels work. Sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off. Hey, you guys see this? You watching this? You see this? You heard about this? Look at that. Oh, it's kind of just different and interesting. And and I don't know why I've never looked for it. Yeah, see, they're off. They're off. The, they're off the track. And then, and then they go back down. It's the weirdest thing, man. And what are we going to get? Usually we get about $200,000 per sale. We'll see if this is any different. Okie dokie. 310. Yeah, I think we did okay for money. 310,000, we have 600 grand. What are we gonna do with all that? Now I'm just trying to get the yard cleared up and get everything put back where it goes. I wasn't quite sure. Oh, oh hang on, there it was. Come on, yeah, there we go. Uh, turns out I picked the wrong place to try and put that. So uh, let's never put that there again. <laughs> Bring it back in here, back it up, turn it off. Bob's your uncle, is that what they say? I don't know if they say that. So now we've got all of this straw that's gonna have to be picked up. And currently we are uh, using a round baler. I would like to swap this over to square balers, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to the Quadro Pro baler pack in order to get everything working the way that I want it to. I don't want this massive swath pickup thingy, unrealistic uh, thingamabob. I, I, I would prefer just to go single row. That works for me, but running a square baler is going to be the most helpful thing. However, I need to figure out how to increase the capacities on that, and I also need to figure out how to increase the working width just a little bit so that it doesn't miss these big old piles right here at the end. So make sure that you stay tuned for the next one, because in the next video, we're going to be baling and possibly getting some mowing done as well. So we'll see you then.